Limited Company, Sense Business Studies. Welcome back. Please subscribe to Sense Business Studies and like the video. Also, I have my own channel called Crazy IGCSE. Please subscribe there as well. Crazy IGCSE includes biology, maths, physics, English as second language, business, economics, and accounting. All these subjects are based on the IGCSE syllabus of 2020 to 2021. The preparation of financial statements continued. So, limited companies. Now, in this topic, we'll be discussing the advantages and disadvantages of operating a private limited company, the meaning of the term limited liability, the meaning of the term equity, understanding the cap capital structure for limited company relating to the preference share capital, ordinary share capital, general reserve and returned earnings, distinguishing between the issued called up and paid up share capital, distinguishing between the share capital and between the preference shares and the ordinary shares, loan capital such as debentures, preparing the income statements, statement of changes in equity and statement of financial position, and making adjustments of financial statements. Uh, now, in these two last points will be done in the second video because this video is entirely based on theory part. So those parts will be doing in the second video which is the preparation of the accounts even this point so now let's look at some definitions first is stock exchange so stock exchange is where the business issues shares to people company is a legal entity which has a separate identity from its shareholders a public limited company can sell shares to the public and a private limited company can sell shares to family members or business associates share capital authorized share capital that's the maximum amount a company can sell to the shareholders issued share capital is the amount which is sold to the shareholders types of issued capital called up capital this is the amount of capital asked for the preference and ordinary shareholders paid up capital is the part of the called up capital when the money is received by the preference and the ordinary shareholders and the businesses raise capital to finance the business let's look at what preference shares means preference shares is when the shareholder gets a fixed rate of dividend they are not entitled to vote in the agm which means the annual general meeting annual general meeting is when the shareholders can decide on who the board of directors is going to be then the receiving of dividends is first so they are in the preference Ordinary shares is when they receive variable dividends. So the percentage of dividends they receive can be changing each time. So if there are high profits in the business, then there is a higher percentage of dividends which will be received by the shareholders. And they can vote in AGM. That means they are entitled to vote, to vote in the annual general meeting. Receive dividends later. They are received uh, they, they receive their dividends only after the preference shareholders receive theirs. Ordinary shares are also known as the equity share. The advantages are the members are controlled, there is a flexibility of income distribution, and there is a tax advantage. Disadvantage includes difficult to raise capital. Appropriation account. We prepared this after we prepared the income statement. Prepare the appropriation in income statement and ordinary shares in the appropriation account. The amount paid is called the paid amount. The amount not paid is called the proposed amount. In an income statement, statement we deduct the preference shares from the net profit. Debentures. They are liabilities of the company. That's because uh, the company, uh, the debenture holders, they get a certificate of a particular loan. So that's a liability for the company. And they're not owners. The interest must be paid. Debentures come under the current liabilities, which is in the balance sheet. And they receive fixed rate of interest. Dividends. These are paid to shareholders. They are part of profit. So when there's profit, 
for they, it's like a return to the shareholders. The shareholders invest money in the business. For that, they need to get a return, and the return for shareholders is called dividend, and the dividend is taken out of the profit. Now the directors decide if they have to pay the dividends or not, and what percentage to pay. Retained profit is part of the profit which is saved for later use. Now in the profit, the business may remove some part of the profit and keep it aside for later use for maybe expansion. That is called retained profit. Private limited companies have to prepare appropriation account. Public limited companies have to prepare the statement of changes in equity. We prepare appropriation account to uh, to the retained profit to calculate the retained profit carry down and the owner's equity is equal to the share capital plus the general reserve plus the retained earnings and capital employed is equal to the owner's equity and the loan capital so this is the end of our video please subscribe to sense business studies and like the video and also stay tuned for my upcoming video which is going to be based on the preparation of the statement of changes in equity and the appropriation account Thank you for watching Sense Business Studies.